talk about kind of where they are right now in season six? Well, I mean, Carol's a much different Carol than she was back then. Yeah, you know yeah what I mean? she really is. Carol's kind of like the Terminator right now. Um, you know, with, with baked goods, you know, but... Uh, I, you know, I, I, everyone's changed so much on that show since since they started. You know, it's um, you got a what? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, yeah you know, I, it's it is kind of like uh, I, I don't want to say brother and sister because then there's a million people that want to ship us that want to hate me, and then I I, I don't want to say yeah it's a thing because there'll be a million people that will be mad at me. But uh, you know, the truth is I don't write the show. To be honest. Uh, and I get yelled at all the time, thinking people think I'd write the show, but I don't. Um, but I, it, people are people are much different, you know what I'm saying, than they than they were back then. So I mean, Carol can handle herself right now. Uh, I used to like always protect her, you know. She, she was always in my peripheral all the time, but but so was Rick, and so was everybody else. So it, it, it's a, it's kind of a different world, and it's constantly changing. So, but I mean, never say never. I don't know, I don't know what's gonna happen. He probably does. Well, listen, the truth of the matter is, I do, by the way. I know everything that happens. The worst thing is... Send him shots. Everybody give him tequila shots right now. Yeah. We'll get the whole season. I, I have no idea what's happening. Hold on. Okay, in episode nine. Wait a minute. No, the truth of the matter is, the show, the show needs to evolve and it needs to change. And one of the things that was exciting about the second half of season six that you guys haven't seen yet is there's a tremendous dramatic change. And it's the most dramatic change that the show can't hear you, whatever you're saying. But it's, ama it's, an, amazing, uh, it's an amazing change because uh, the show is going to shift gears. For the first time in a long time. Look at, a, look at that different. drunk crew in the hot tub over there. Right? Yeah. It's like spring. It's uh, looks like girls go wild, but dudes. Yeah. Hey, is, is there any girls in that hot tub at all? Or is it just all no, there they are. I see a couple of guys. Wait, wait, guys, guys, sit down. Girls, just raise your hands. All right, good. I was worried for me. All right, good. We all appreciate it. We love it. Um, can you talk about anything maybe you either put in the second half of season six or the first half? Well, maybe was, we didn't I'll, I'll tell you, there was one that was in episode five that we had to cut out. And I was a little disappointed. And of course, I was really angry that I didn't think about it for episode one because we had the black and white. But there was a zombie that we did that we wanted to pay tribute to Night Living Dead and it was Johnny. When Johnny yeah! comes back. Barbara and pulls Barbara out. So we had we had hired a, a stunt person and we bought like the colored tie with the black leather fingerless gloves and we duplicated that zombie from Night Living Dead. And he was he was in the episode and he looked really good. And then Scott Dimple and said, well, it's a little too recognizable. The Easter eggs have to be something that you might catch or you might not catch. So the scene got cut out. And of course, in retrospect. If I would have been smarter, I would have thought about episode 601, which was the premiere, where we had black and white. I could have put a black and white zombie from Night Living Dead, and it would have been the perfect homage, and I blew it. So we shot it. I have photos of it, and it's a really cool zombie, but it ended up getting cut out of the episode. But in the second half of the season, we have some pretty cool... I directed episode 9, which is the, fir the first episode, by the way, Coming into uh, into the on February 14th, which I can't think of a better day to, to start the Walking Dead. Episode nine is by far uh, the biggest episode that we've ever produced, uh, and uh, and was absolutely I can't even. It was one of those things where I don't even remember what we did because it was so complex. I, I directed episode 9, episode 12, and the finale. And the finale, which I can't talk about, but... Fuck! It's... it's I, 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 there's only one other person that's seen it, and I can't say who it is because I will get fired. But it's... I'll tell you, the, the show is so... Wait, just point to yourself. <laughs> But I, I will tell you, I, I, I can't wait for you guys to see it. I, it's the best episode of the 15 episodes I've directed over the last however many fucking seasons. Uh, it's the best episode I've ever directed. It's the best performances. 
the actors the actors did such an amazing job that I when I watched the, the cut I got emotional it was that good it's so good no no no, no. don't give me the whoa